You are now watching the Queen Chama. So hey guys, I'm back with another video. So tonight's video is sponsored by Today Only Hair and I'm gonna be showing you guys how I constructed parts of my wig unit. So they sent me four bundles in the closure of their Malaysian water wave hair and the hair is super pretty. So they sent me 26 inches, four bundles of 26 inches and a 20 inch closure. So I'm gonna be showing you guys how I construct my wig. I always use the Spandex Dome Style wig cap and I feel like these wig caps are very movable, very stretchy and they're very breathable. So the first step is actually going to be bleaching the knots and to do this you're going to take your closure or your frontal but in this case a closure and you're just going to pin that down onto your mannequin head or a flat surface. So you want a flat surface because you're going to be applying a mixture onto the closure. So the first step is using the BW2 bleaching powder. This is just to bleach the knots and lighten them as well as the Clairol Collider Colors in blue. And this is a toning powder so that you can get that nice yellow color as well as the 40 volume developer to actually develop the mixture. So I'm gonna be taking all three of those ingredients and I'm gonna be placing them into some form of a bowl. I like to use a bowl so I can measure out everything, make sure I get an even distribution of all three products. And then I like to take a nice metal spoon or knife and mix up everything together. And you wanna go for a thick consistency, something that's not too droopy and not too messy. So the step is pretty easy, taking your utensil, spread this evenly all over your lace area and you wanna make sure you're doing it with a light hand. You don't want it to seep through whatsoever. Make sure that it does not seep through at all. The key to bleaching knots is evenly distributing the mixture all over the lace area, making sure you use a light hand and making sure that you actually wait so that it can actually develop. And then I like to take a piece of foil and I like to set that over the bleaching mixture and I set mine for 40 minutes. Even if I use any type of other developer, I always set mine for 40 minutes. So once that 40 minutes is up, it's actually time to wash out this mixture. So I take the Shimmer Light Shampoo, which is actually meant for bleaching and toning, and I place this onto the mixture and I just rinse it out with lukewarm water from my sink and my tap. So as you guys can see, those knots are like a yellowish color, a blondish color, and that is the perfect color you want so that your lace and your parting area can look very natural. Literally the key is bleaching the knots to making sure that parting space looks really natural and this is actually how you want it to look like. So moving forward, we're actually gonna place that closure back onto our mannequin head and you wanna push it up just a little bit in front of your wig cap and you wanna pin it down on all four sides. So two in the front, obviously two in the back. You can do some on the sides if you need some extra security and it's actually time to sew that right on. So make sure that you tie up the hair so that it doesn't get in the way of when you sew in your other bundles, but making sure this closure is flat with no lumps and bumps is really imperative to having a really seamless install. So I take a needle and thread and I just go with an underhand sewing all around the edges of the the closure and I make sure that everything lays very very flat you don't want any lumps or bumps so I sewed in all four bundles of the hair as well as the closure and this is what it looked like prior to any styling so the hair was super light and fluffy and I really liked the texture it was really pretty I definitely feel like the water wave texture is top tier it's one of my favorite textures of all hair patterns so taking the end of a rat tail comb, I'm going to part out my parting area. I was going for a middle part, just want a nice sleek look. I used some mousse just to kind of slick everything down. You can do mousse, you can do the wax stick. I like to do a combination of both and I wanted to make sure that everything lays really flat for the middle part. Now when it comes to actually applying the wig, I would use the ball cap method for frontals, but I also use it for closures as well. So I just sew a little horseshoe section as I like to call it around and I cut off that excess wig cap and I go ahead and put my foundation color on top of that to make it look like a bald cap method and blend with my skin tone. So I place the wig on, do my baby hairs to my style and my liking, and this is pretty much what the wig looks like at first glance. So I'm gonna touch it up, and I feel like when you add in the extra powder or makeup and let it sit just for a day, it actually blends well into your skin, and on day two, the install looks so flawless. So those are pretty much the key points to this installation. Thank you to Today Only Hair for sponsoring this video. All of the information on this hair is gonna be on the description box down below, so let's get right into this vlog. So hey guys, thank you for tuning into my first vlog in a very long time. I wanted to show you guys the behind the scenes stuff that I've been doing with my modeling agency called The Queen Team Models. If you guys haven't already, make sure you follow us on our Instagram page. I know we are in a pandemic and I know COVID is up, but when it comes to something that means a lot to me, like my brand and my business, I'm gonna be real enough to say I will honestly take that risk. So I'm just putting that out there. So as a model, there are so many different types of modeling. There's high fashion, there's runway, there's print modeling, music videos, glamour modeling. Modeling is not just what you see on the runway. 
away with girls who are six foot tall and underweight. There are definitely so many different realms and so many different styles of modeling. So we got casted to be in a music video. These girls have not made the team yet, but they did try out and get casted for this opportunity. And I'm the director, so I went with them. It was really a fun experience and everyone had fun. And when the full video has been edited, I will definitely let you guys know so you guys can go and check it out. A lot of my time and energy has been going to the queen team models. So I really wanted you guys to see what I've been up to. Our whole purpose is to make sure that women of color are being uplifted and they feel confident in doing something that has to do with beauty and business. So without further ado, let's get right into this vlog. So this is actually going to be like a podcast vlog because I had my manager taking all of the footage, so it wasn't really like a storyline. So I want to make sure y'all know what's going on. So what's up, Josana? You a little you're, you're a little sleepy? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what up, Tom? <laughs> So we just pop it off. Okay, then the sisters. <laughs> I know, I know. I was just playing with you. <laughs> and then the other pair of sisters right here. What's up with y'all? So right here, I was actually taking roll and making sure that the roll call was good, making sure everybody that was there was supposed to be there. And I was also giving out the guidelines for the weekend and making sure that all of the release forms were signed. We were actually going to Columbus, Ohio, which was about two hours away from Toledo. And we got booked for the weekend. Once we got there, I had a little business talk with the manager and the artist, and we had the Airbnb all to ourselves. So as soon as we got there, we actually started doing our hair and makeup and making sure that we were ready for the night because we were actually gonna be shooting right in the Airbnb for the first half of the video. So things moved really quickly on day one. The girls got ready pretty fast as soon as we got to the Airbnb. I feel like it was a really good sisterhood moment because they were all getting ready in the same house, putting on their outfits, helping each other get ready, helping each other get dressed. And most of them had never met each other before. All of them did participate in a photo shoot prior to this video shoot, but they didn't really get that much interaction. So it was really cool to see these girls kind of just bond together for the whole weekend and getting ready and sharing that commonality with makeup and beauty and being a model really brought them together and it really made it look like a sisterhood. You know, everybody was lit and everybody was turned and the energy was really good. Hey, pay attention. So I'm not hey, y'all. Hey. Yo, yo, yo. Hey, you guys got to pay attention, okay? So, real quickly. So, make sure there's not a big gap between you guys. So, like, as everyone's walking down, walk down. Three, two, one, action. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Yeah. Look to the right, there we go, that's it. Look to the right. Look to the right, there we go. Perfect, there we go. Look to the right. Look to the right. Look to the right. Hey, look to the right, yeah. Look to the right, there we go. All right, Kayla. So the song that we were doing the video for is called Friends. It is by 4MF. They are an Afrobeats group. And we did this so many times, this coming down the stairs. We took like a good five takes of the girls coming down the stairs. And it just really shows that they were entering the party with all of their friends. And as you guys hear later on in the vlog, there's a part of the hook that says you can bring a friend and bring another friend too. So essentially, that's what we were trying to captivate coming down the stairs. But the girls looked really good. And I was really impressed with how everybody came. They were allowed to pick their own hair and their own outfit and I feel like everything meshed together really well. We then moved on to the next scene, which was everybody in the kitchen area turning up and having a good time with their friends. Hey, y'all see me just chilling right here? This is like really trauma. Like I'm the type of person that just be chilling most of the time when I'm in any social situation. Yeah. 
So this scene was probably the longest scene out of the two days of shooting because it just took forever. They wanted to make sure that they got all of the scenes, making sure that the artists were on their part. So it took a while. We did the take like at least eight times to the song again and again and again to the point where you probably know the whole song. But really, when you're on set as a model, this is kind of standard to be on set for hours. And I think some of the girls did not realize how long they were going to be on set. But because these girls are still aspiring to be on the team, I'm glad that some of them got the experience to know what it would be like for future endeavors. So that's pretty much what we did for day one. Now we are at day two, which was Saturday. We were actually going to the club with all of the artists. They bought out a section for us, paid for hookah, paid for drinks and everything. They also sponsored everyone's hair and makeup. So the girls were kind of in rotation all morning and all afternoon, getting their hair done, getting their makeup done. Shout out to all of the talented makeup artists and hairstylists that came through and helped out the Queen Team models to get ready for this shoot. And I really want to say a huge thank you to all of the people that helped us out and got us looking real cute. It was really fun to kind of direct and make sure that everyone was doing what they were supposed to do while seeing all of these beautiful confident women like especially when I give them the freedom to do their own hair and their own makeup and see how creative they can become for something like this so I really enjoyed it and I really like the fact that we got to go out even though if y'all know I'm the type of person that does not like the club like that and especially during this time I really wasn't even trying to be there but I definitely took one for the team and for my business and made sure that everybody was cool and we definitely did have a great time <laughs> Alright, so listen up, listen up, y'all. So this is the part, the people that you're driving with that's the cars you're going in. So Ariana, Maria, Bianca, you guys are in a group. You guys are going with Gilly. Thank you, group. Alyssa, Alasia, Deja, you guys are going with Bernie. Alyssa, Alasia, Deja. So as you can see, we're all getting ready to go out to the club. They actually got this for the footage. Us pulling up to the club was footage. Us in the club was footage. So we got our own section, our own bottles, our own hookah, and everything was taken care of by the artist. It was a super fun weekend, especially for me as a director. It was really rewarding. And I'm really someone who just stays in the house. I've been quarantining for a long time, especially because I'm not in college. I really do not like to go out like that. But I really did enjoy myself, you guys. So we all loaded up in the car and we went to this club called Living Room and we had a lot of fun and we was about to turn up. <laughs> Y'all, I'm really cracking up because I swear to you, I am not a party person. I have like 30 minutes of social time anywhere I go. And then after that, I'm chilling. I was in the club with my shades on, standing in the back, just watching everybody, making sure that all the models were good. I am not a party person, but it's just funny to watch it back because I never realized how mean I look, but I was having a good time. I promise you. Oh, yeah. So in that last clip, the DJ actually played the song that we were doing the video to. So we got some footage. It was really fun. I really did enjoy myself. It was the first time I've been out in a long, 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 long time. Well over a year. So I will say I did enjoy myself and I really enjoyed being the director of the Queen Team Models. This was pretty much me bossing up. The title of this vlog is Boss Up Black Queens. If there's any business venture that you guys feel like you're really passionate about, take it. This was something that was just really a joke at first for me to start a modeling agency. And I see where it's brought me to this point. And I'm really, really excited for this brand to 
grow. So if you want to see anything more about the Queen Team models, of course, follow us on our Instagram page, but you can also subscribe to our YouTube channel. We have a docu-series that we've been filming. It's going to go over the whole journey to becoming a Queen Team model and staying on the team. So I will link that down below. Don't forget to follow me on all of my social media networks and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys. I'm a red hot chili pepper. Hot. You know I'm vicious. Yeah. Red lipstick and man wanna kiss this. Wow. He can't hit this so he throw a bitch fit. I got that red tartar sauce and he's a fish. You know I'm bad like a pink slip. Red bottoms on my feet just to match my pink fit. I need a man six six brown with a dick print. White teeth.